Okay, last section, we are finding the cost per mile to operate. So on these, you want to add up all the operational cost. And then we're going to divide by the total miles driven. So let's start, what are all of our operating costs? Well, depreciation is $3,800. maintenance is $860.60. Repairs is $1,350.80. License is eighty twenty five. And insurance is six thirty eight. Okay, so that is all of the costs. So sixty seven twenty nine and sixty five. And we're gonna divide that by the mile driven. So eighteen four sixty. So the cost per mile to operate is point three six four. And I wrote three numbers because we're talking about money. Okay, whenever we're talking about money, there's four grams, there's a hundred. And there's two numbers after the decimal. So we're going to round if we need to. So the only number that will change is the six. We look, and that is less than five. So the six stays the same. So it's 36 cents per mile to operate this car. Let's do another one. So find um, cost per mile, 15,000 miles, and then we have all these operating costs. So we're going to add up all the operating costs. So new tires, 540. Maintenance, 466.40. Taxes, 326.50. Gas, nine twenty five. Depreciation, two thousand. So we want to take that value that we just got and divide it by how many miles we're going, which is fifty thousand right here. So point two eight three. And then remember, we're talking about cents. So only two numbers because that three is less than five. This eight space. Okay, so 28 cents to operate the car. And then again, there's going to be some repeat questions along the way. So we did this in section 1.3, but it's going to pop up again. So I'm going to do it one more time just as a review. Remember, I told you we were going to have to bring in some of these insurance things so you can print it off or keep referring back to 1.3 to get this. That's where I got this. It's from your notes. Okay, so we're going to go through. Sorry, I'm just trying to pop up my settings. And figure out how much it's going to cost for the premium. So refer to the premium tables. That's what this is. It's from 1.3. So your car is used for commuting. So that's this column. So not column or pleasure, not business, this column. And you want 25,000 to 50,000 insurance coverage for bodily injury. So bodily injury, we want 25,000, 50,000. So a hundred dollars is what that's gonna cost. You would like property damage, so right here, coverage of 10000 So this one, $40. The age group of your car is B. So we're always going to pick the middle number. And your insurance rating group is 6. So here's all our insurance columns. This one is the one we're going to use, 6. So I'm going to ignore all these other ones. You would like a hundred dollar deductible on your collision coverage. So here's collision. We're gonna pick a hundred dollars and remember we're group B. So it's the middle 
middle number is going to cost 112. Don't forget, there's always four numbers when we do these insurance ones. You always have to go through the comprehensive, even though it's not listed up there. So comprehensive group B is 2450. And then we're going to add these all up. That's going to be our number. So 100 plus 40 plus 112 plus 2450 is 276.50 right here. And that's it for this section and this unit. Good luck.